this is Foodie Life Mac. Welcome to my show, Cheesesteak Run. I'm gonna be taking you all around the city. I'm gonna show you cheesesteaks from good, hopefully only to good or great. You know, I don't want any bad cheesesteaks. That's the goal. So, I mean, there's a couple rules that I have to get out the way. I'm gonna do it plain. Most of the time, or well, if not all the time, it's gonna be American. A Cooper Sharp cheese. No onions and no mayo. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I've been to some places where I had onions and they didn't cook them well enough and I went before and they had a great cheesesteak. The onions messed it up. And I've had times where I had mayo and that messed it up. The whole point of this is consistent cheesesteaks, they're going to win. But stay tuned. This is Free Life Mac. Welcome to my show, Cheesesteak Run. Free life, man. I'm uptown today. Um, I think Mount Airy, Ogots, Alney. I don't know. Y'all tell me what hood this is, man. I know I'm uptown, but Mount Airy, Alney, I think. If I'm wrong, don't kill me. I got, I'm at Pagano's. Follow the channel. That's what, look, I've been supposed to tell y'all that 18 weeks in a row. It's like now. But subscribe to the channel. I'm not gonna lie to you. Great people in there. It don't look too great. I ain't gonna hold you, man. It looks super duper chopped. I actually got two cheesesteaks. They uh, actually wrapped them separately for me. I'm gonna say first things first, they put the bread uh, cheese on the bread and then put the steak on it, which I do not like, especially when you don't melt it for a minute. But we're gonna try it. First one, no ketchup. Super hot. Bun super soggy. I'm making a video. What it look like, bro? <laughs> uh, taste. favorite things at a cheesecake. Look. Right. I know I had, I had it wrapped up for about like five minutes, but come on, bro. If I was going to the crib, you gotta be better. This feel like Leo's number two. This is already about the same as Leo's. Bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I couldn't even eat that junk. I won't say it's bad, like, I would literally have to reconstruct it by a whole new road. I don't know, it's so, so nice in there, I don't want to trash it. Bro, this is a chat. I'm about to not even review this job, bro. Bro, this job feel like a... Delosandro's part two. Ain't no Delosandro's part two. Delosandro's 20 times better than this job. What are you talking about? I'm literally about to stop this review, bro. Because I don't want to. Bro. I don't know, man. All right, we're going to start it from here. All right, this is the second one. This is triple triple cheesesteak provolone, uh, cheese whiz, and American. Everything falling all over the place. Look, give me less meat, man. I know people don't complain about that. Look, unless you're going to go to Poppy or whoever y'all get y'all rolls from. Sarcons, Lucio's, I don't know. But unless you're about to go make your own cheesesteak, then this is entirely too much steak, for real, for real. Unless you're about to make a cheesesteak quesadilla after this, like, come on, bro. Now the Wiz does give it some flavor. 
Y'all know I'm not a witch guy, but with the type of cheese steak this is, I had to get the witch to give it some flavor. Man. I'm gonna just have to keep it a bean. This joint like a two nine, man. I don't even know if I drop this joint. This joint like a two nine. This joint was saggy. Flavors was mild. Most importantly, once again, bread was saggy. Nothing stood out. But they had to heat and treat. And I needed this. Anyway, it's fully light, Mac. This cheese steak run. I'm up top, but I'm out. I'm kind of disappointed. Because they were so nice. And I hate to do it. But I got to be real. I need you guys to help me grow my channel and grow my buzz. This is Fully Life Mac. This is Cheese Steak Run. I need from the young boys to the OGs to show me some love. Like, comment, sub, share. All of the above. Yeah.